Earlier in the topic, we actually learned how to draw energy level diagram. So let's have a quick recap. Okay, the energy level diagram actually show the energy change in the reaction. Okay, so in the energy level diagram, we will draw two lines to represent the energy level of the reactants and the energy level of the products. So in exothermic reaction, we know that the energy level of the products will be less than energy level of the reactant. So we draw a line below the energy level of the reactants to represent the lower amount of energy. And do remember, there's a time delay here, okay, because products are formed at a later time. And also, not forgetting this line, okay, with the arrow pointing down to represent the loss of energy. And take note, delta H or not the enthalpy change is a negative in the exothermic reaction. Whereas in the endothermic reaction, okay, we know that the products will have more energy than the reactants. So we draw a line at a higher level to represent that. And the arrow touching the two energy levels should be going up to represent the gain in energy, hence delta H is positive. Now let's focus on exothermic reaction now. On the left, we have energy level diagram of an exothermic reaction. An energy level diagram is something that you should be familiar with already. Now we are targeting on energy profile diagram, okay, which is most commonly in exams what you will need to complete or what you need to draw. There are two main differences here. The first one is the presence of the axis, which is the progress of reaction. All right. Unlike in energy level diagram, we don't include the horizontal axis. Okay. The next prominent difference is actually the presence of activation energy. Now take note, activation energy is always pointing up. It's the minimum amount of energy that these reactant particles must have, okay, or not must take in for reaction to occur, right? So it is always pointing up, okay? Delta H in the exothermic reaction, it is still the energy difference between reactants and products. Okay, the arrow is still pointing down and uh, delta H is still a negative value. But the only difference is instead of touching the reactant and product energy level directly, we actually include the dotted line and the arrow down okay, is touching the dotted line and the energy level of the products. All right. What about endothermic reaction? Endothermic reaction for energy level diagram on the left Okay, it's something that you should be familiar with. Okay, we have gone through this earlier on. Now again, energy profile diagram, same as what we went through just now in exothermic reaction. Main differences is the presence of the axis and also the presence of activation energy. All right, so uh, we actually added in this progress of reaction and we also added this activation energy. Again, in this case, the activation energy is still pointing up. All right. And also, not forgetting the dotted line that we extend from the reactants, okay? And the arrow up should touch the dotted line and the energy level of the products. Now, this is our energy profile diagram of an exothermic reaction and an endothermic reaction. Again, you are more commonly asked to draw out energy profile diagram in the exam. So, you should be very clear how you should complete this energy profile diagram accurately.